hello friends welcome once again into our channel uh today we're going to continue into our pivot table and today we're going to look two interesting things like this one this is a frequency distribution and the pivot and the pivot chart how to make in the microsoft excel as our, as our previous videos show the, the these data as you see a lot of them and we said that we can use a pivot table to summarize this data so today we're going to, to use another things as I tell you. So let's check it. If you're new here, please click subscribe button and turn notification bell into all so as to become notified for any coming video. The first step we will let's say let's make let's make a, a pivot table by simple click here into the insert. After click the insert, click the pivot table, and, and then after the all the field has been selected, click OK. After click OK. We know that there is a pivot table one here as you see so by if you want to make a frequency distribution table please use this row and values only so we're going to use row as a value by using only amount let's take here amount and also let's drop here amount but for this microsoft excel here the this data become in in what in a group D. so the if you if you see your microsoft excel for the first time it will not become into a groups and it is supposed to be in a groups so if you if you see the the data like this here like ungroup the one you see like this simply click one of this data any one of this one and after that after that just uh, tap here into into a groups after groups let's take this uncheck this starting auto and the end auto and they change them into one and this one you see the the last data is 9990 let's change this into 10000 direct after that let's take this data to be grouped by 1000 after that click ok you see now it will become as it is my my, my views before you see this is a grouped data so here you see this one is a and the frequency distribution table as you see if you look at it, this one is a frequency distribution table and we can use this to to make a, a histogram so by if you wanted to make any histogram select any cell here in there in your table after that come here into the analyze tabs into analyze tabs look here into the tool ribbon in the tool ribbon select the pivot chart after they select the pivot chart simply you see the chart here is displayed as a column this one is a histogram click ok it will show as a as a bar graph but it is like a histogram so this one we can term as a histogram or we can term as a as a bar graph so anywhere views after that you see this one is displayed as a so if you now we want to make this the second one as a pivot chart we can use the same option but i think i'm going to show this how to make a pivot chart that will be different change into different type or format of pivot chart simply by i can use here as a two by two by two i can say two by two two by two as an in as a as a pivot chart table simply here into our data as a first time click into the insert after clicking the insert click into the pivot table after that click ok but now we're going to take what and what we, for now time we're going to take this as a amount as a as before into the values as i know this yes this is amount after take the count amount let's change this into what let's change this amount into the into the total sum change this into value field after that click here and click into 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 sum then click ok after clicking into the sum then let's select the country and put into the rows let's select the countries and put into the rows after select let's take here into the column take what into the column let's take the products let's take a product here after that into the filter let's take the categories where's the categories let's take categories here see this is our two by two field because the column and row are all of them are filled. so now we want to demonstrate the difference 
pivot chart that we can make. The first things, as you see, that now, as, as I said before, in the analysis, you see here into the tool ribbon, there is a pivot chart. Simply select any data here. After that, click the pivot chart. After click the pivot chart, we see the first one to be displayed as a column. As you see that, then click OK. It will display that like a bar graph, as you see here. And here in the categories, you can change into different view. Like I can say, I want you to see only fruits. Also, they change into only fruits. I want you to this data to be changed, not to be shown in these countries. Like it can change as all well. categories. After that, the change the data also will be will be changed. So, if I wanted to change from this chart to another chart, simply I can click here into design, click into design. After clicking into design, here you say that change chart type. You can click here into change chart type. Let's say now I can click into the, let's say this pie chart and select the form how it will be seen. Then click OK. This is a pie chart. And now you can change this pie chart by selecting a category. Let's say I want all of them. Then click OK. It will be changed but uh, for two countries, but I want to. Uh, this is here below, it says the product, and I want all the product, but here I will change the country to be shown all of them. They select the another country here to be displayed, then click OK. It will change, as you see here. So this is the way of using a pivot table. I hope you understand very much. And in the continuous video, we we'll look at other things in this Microsoft Excel. If it is helpful to you, please keep subscribe button and turn notification bell in tools. Also share this video for other people in order to, to subscribe into this into this channel. Thank you very much and you are most welcome.